All right, guys, it's Valentine's Day weekend. Whoopee! <laughs> For some of you, it's gonna be a day of sweet, sweet loving. For others, it's a reminder of our lonely existence, <laughs> especially during times of COVID. So in this episode of Coach Aiden, I will give you some tools how you can be a little less lonely. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you like on this video. All right, here we go. So first of all, if you are lonely, that's okay that you feel this way. Obviously, you're here because you don't like the way that feels. Here's the unfortunate truth and where I might lose some of you guys, okay? The way to feel less lonely is not by fixing the world around you so that you're surrounded by more people. What you need to do is you need to be willing to look within and manage your loneliness from inside out. People really hate hearing that. The one thing that I find frustrating working in the empowerment world is that most people have an idea of what the problem is. So they come and they go, help me fix my world. The problem is I'm not surrounded by these people and I'm lonely. No, the problem is that you feel lonely. <laughs> That's the real problem. This isn't going to fix it. But I think it's hard to get into the mindset that you need to kind of look within and fix what's going on on the inside because the world would love to convince you that the problem is always out there so that you can keep spending your money to fix the problem that is tangible. For example, oh, you don't feel beautiful? Here, put on this eyeliner and you can magically look like Jennifer Lopez and then some Tom Brady looking fellow will come and sweep you off your feet and then off you go to a castle in Europe where you'll get married and have babies and live happily ever after with them with dancing clocks and teacups and rugs and cantalabras. <laughs> That's Beauty and the Beast. Okay, anyway, but in a world where money is king, that is what the world would like to have you believe. If you believe that you need to fix your outer world to fix your negative feelings, they can count on the fact that you will invest your money to do that into fixing the tangible with the promise of an emotional improvement. Look at the commercials. All of them have this yogurt. Mm, oh, so happy. They're promising you happiness. They're not promising you the yogurt. That's what they're selling you. But here's the thing. The problem is you can fix all of that all you want. But if you're looking at the world through glasses that are out of focus, you will continue to see blurry. And they would like to perpetuate that belief that it's the world around you that's the problem. Because they can't make money on your improving your self-worth, really. They would rather sell you a bottle of Pantene Provi and say, here, this will make your hair fabulous and you'll get married. It's the same with loneliness. It's not an issue of the partner or the lack of family or COVID really. Loneliness is not really about physical proximity. Loneliness is about lack of being seen for who you really are on a deep level. Okay, look, you can be in a Brady Bunch house with Marsha and Jan and Cindy and Alice and Bobby. Okay, like... <laughs> Who else is there? Peter? Peter. And there was Bobby and Greg. Ha ha ha. Whatever. You get the idea. So you're surrounded by all of these people in squares and you can feel totally alone. Here's why you might feel totally alone even if you're surrounded by people. Let's say you're a gay man. But you don't feel like people will accept you for being a gay man. So in the family dynamic of the Brady Bunch... You might hide the fact that you're gay and put up a front for your family that you believe will be more acceptable than what you are. And guess what? No matter how many trophies you win playing football to prove your masculinity, <laughs> no matter how much your family shows you love, and they might actually mean it. They might love you, love you, love you, but you're still presenting a falsehood that isn't the complete picture. You've taken a part of yourself and hidden that part away. That's loneliness. There's an aspect of you that you're hiding. And deep down, no matter what you present, you will feel like you are not loved for the fullness of who you are and that you're only lovable if you put up an act. So you will absolutely feel alone no matter what you do until you resolve that element. Okay? All right. 
that's loneliness. That'll be $700. <laughs> okay, let's go with something else. Uh, let's say uh, you might be a girl who's really into cooking. Now, unfortunately, um, you might have a mother who um, is wonderful, but really values independence and women's workplace fairness, which is great. But she also has relied on that for survival, so she sees you cooking and it triggers her. What Don't you want to be more than just a wife in the kitchen, she might say, to the little girl who wants to cook. The girl now sees cooking as unacceptable behavior, and so she might take that part of her aside. Right? So then, from then on, she will make a decision not to show that side of herself again and separate herself from that identity and put on a mask for the mother that is more acceptable. We all do this, by the way. As the years go on, she doesn't understand why she's so lonely because she's disidentified from what she's actually interested in. And that part of herself actually wants to be accepted. That part doesn't actually go away. She can never feel like she's accepted for the totality of who she is until she decides to integrate that part, uh, that part back in as something that is acceptable. So as long as you're going through the world with the mask for other people, that's never going to be the real you. And that is loneliness. That's lonelier than anything else in the world. Like, uh, I shared about this last week and I got some feedback about it. I was molested when I was four and I thought that it was my fault. I thought my sexuality was a problem that incited that kind of behavior from someone else. And so I put that part of myself away until I started talking about it to other people and de-shaming that process and uh, started accepting that part of myself back in to the whole of who I am. I was disintegrated from that part of myself. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're in this situation, this is what you got to do. You've got to start to embrace that part of you by hopefully talking about it to someone. Uh, it can be a therapist. It can be a trusted loved one. It can be uh, even a, a post on Reddit. Something that will take that part that is shameful and secretive and bring it to light so that it becomes an acceptable part of who you are. That is the de-shaming process. Once you de-shame that part of yourself, you can work on expressing that part of you that has been hidden away for a really long time, right? So for example, if you loved cooking and you hid that part of yourself that loves cooking, you might want to tell people that you love cooking, de-shame that process, and then start cooking. Or if you're a man and you're gay and you've hidden that part of yourself away, you might want to bring that to light and say, hey, I am gay to some trusted sources. Once you feel like you're not a weirdo or a freak and that there's really nothing to be ashamed of, you can then start going on dates, honoring that part of you that you've hidden away consciously, right? Deliberately. For me, uh, my... Um, my uh, sexuality, I, I've hid that part of myself away because I thought that was causing me a problem. So what I did was I started telling people that I was molested at a young age and I integrated that part back in and I said, hey, my sexuality was never the problem. It was actually the adults around me that were actually the problem. <laughs> and by integrating that back in, I can honor it, talk to it, be like, hey, I'm sorry that um, I didn't allow you to be fully expressed. Even talking to that part of yourself that you've separated yourself from is incredibly healing, okay? Loneliness, and the reason why you feel lonely is because you're separated from the truth of who you are. You have parts of yourself that you've separated yourself from, and once you integrate that back in, the feelings of loneliness will be healed. And then you can go find a boyfriend as one whole individual instead of having a piece there and a piece there and a piece there and a piece there, okay? Look, learn to take care of you and de-shame who you are. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with you no matter what you've been through. So I want to help you integrate and I want to help you feel less lonely in the world. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? <laughs> so listen, thank you for watching. Have a great Valentine's Day, and I hope you'll take this into consideration. I really hope that you'll uh, 
be able to hear this with an open mind. So thank you very much.